are you ready to take your coding skills to a new advanced level? You took the right decision. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Family and the Complete Android Developer Course. In this tutorial, we will start a new series about the new advanced things, new advanced concepts in Android, Java, and we will make a new course, a parallel course about the Kotlin. We will start also with the Kotlin courses and at this course we will be uh, discussing dependency injection and advanced topics in Android and Java. So if you are looking to be a professional Android developer and you didn't subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe below and rate us five stars on Udemy to get latest tutorials and make this course the biggest course on the earth. Let's begin. What is dependency injection? In software engineering, a dependency injection is a technique whereby one object supplies the dependency of another object. A dependency is an object that can be used. I think this is a Wikipedia definition but I, I didn't understand it from the first 100,000 uh, times I have read it. Just kidding. It's a joke. We will clarify everything in details. So, dependency or dependent means relying on something for support. Like if I say I am relying too much on mobile phones, it means that we are dependent on them so we are dependent on them our dependency is on mobiles what this means in android and in coding when a class a uses some functionality of class b then it's said that said that the class a has dependency of class b let's take a new uh, a very quick example about dependency the hard dependency we we have uh, learned before and learned in java and we have learned and encoded many times how to make that uh, hard coded dependency i will go to the class i have created the uh, app called di app dependency injection app i will create a package just for uh, clarifying I will name it as the I. It's good. I will cre create a new Java class and I will name it as plane. I will give you two examples in this video in order to uh, understand dependency injection and we will uh, we will learn and we will work with the second example till the end of this series. So, start by the plane this class plane is i will uh, define it as a plane if we have created as a, pl a plane an object of plane depends on what a plane have a new component called engine so the engine would be imported and would be embedded inside the plane so class plane depends on engine i need also a new class called wings and dependency in also type i will name it e type engine type okay we have created four classes the first one is the plane which is the the one that have the engine wings and uh, type i will remove this e type i will uh, name it as i will make a refractor for it i will name it type i will name it as type okay or plain type in order not to be confused with anything plain type Okay, so if I have a properties in the engine, like int uh, horsepower, 
if I have also int um, something that we need to create for the engine like uh, factory string as factory and so on I will make also the for the wings but till now I will make them uh, uh, empty okay guys I need to clarify something something uh, before I will make them so if the plane if we go to the plane here the plane I will create a new engine object of it and create engine and it's empty constructor and the plane also contains wings w equal new wings okay and type plane type also a plane contains a plane type so t equal new plane type okay till now i didn't made anything responsible for or related word for dependency injection it is just clarifying what we will do um, and uh, the the previously created patterns for our code okay so in this way we have created the uh, the the plane here and if i want to make a constructor plane public plane if i want i can make it fa very fast i'll insert and takes a parameter like this okay so i will remove like this i will make them on the main activity so don't worry every time i need to create a plane i need to pass an engine wings and plane type objects okay this is the constructor I will go to the main activity and I will make a plane, new plane. So plane P equal new plane. Okay. There is an error. As we know here, we need to pass the perimeters for the constructor. Change signature of plane. If we need to uh, remove the signature of the constructor or we need to pass engine wings and plane type so i in order to make them here i need to create an engine e equal new engine i need to create an instance of these uh, classes also wings w equal new wings and if i need to complete the, co the code I need to create a type plane type plane type here t equal new plane type this is the ordinary coding for our java patterns okay so this is the way we have created plane p and if we have a method here called public void take off okay it it will make a toast here create a new toast this and taking taking off okay so plane get this dot get context i will pass the context here okay this is a class i cannot make them i will make a log i or v into 
tag I will name it as tag and detecting a message called taking off okay this is an ordinary thing that in Java we need to uh, to display it and we have made it before so if we run the main activity in their emulator we have run our application it's uh, an ordinary application making an uh, a class called plane we are making an object of it passing an engine object wings object and type object plane type object and calling the plane takeoff method if we run it we have in the log cat here and we search for tag we have the taking off method is working fine because we have uh, made it and everything is working fine till now we didn't invent anything and we didn't have any dependency injection so we have plain uh, guys uh, uh, concentrate about, uh, on the topics and the uh, and the naming plain p has dependency on engine plain type and wings classes so this is in the in the main activity this is called a boilerplate code so what is a boilerplate in Coding boilerplate is any seemingly repeat repetitive code that shows up again and again in order to get a result that seems like it's ought to be much simpler. So these are uh, again and again uh, we need to create them every time we need to create a plain object. 